So this is downloading content wirelessly? Well, it can, but right now this is on the unit, so we're not downloading anything. Okay. It's already on. So, for instance, we actually have some sample documents. Um, <clears throat> You know, your business documents. We have some books on here. Um, we have newspapers, magazines, and of course some slideshows. So I'll show you some sample documents. Um, so you can see Excel, uh, project, uh, PDF files, etc. So I'll open up the um, Excel file for you so you can see what an Excel worksheet would look like. So readable, you can see the numbers. We actually will let you zoom in on this as well and pan, etc. But even without doing anything, you can actually read the document. And what kind of, kind of controls will do that? Is it going to be gesture based, like the iPhone? It'll be touch. Or touch yeah. And I, I won't say, you know, what kind of gestures that'll, that you get to see when the product comes out, but it'll be touched with your fingers. Okay. And you'll be able to mark it up, you know, so, you know, there's something you want to circle, you can see that. You can add comments, we have a soft keyboard. So, very much thinking about, if somebody has a page of paper, what could I do so that they could actually use this? Not edit it, but actually mark it up. Mm -hmm. So we do that. Uh, and then, we also have here some sample newspapers. And so, you know, the New York Times is on here, but I'll bring up one that is the International Daily Review. So you can see there, again, the same thing. It's, you know, you could actually read that. And what we're finding is we're working with a lot of content partners, both, you know, newspaper, magazines, books, et cetera, distributors, publishers. And what they're saying is this is great because I can actually continue to use my brand. I can continue to put advertisements in here. And it's readable all at the same time. So they really, really like this. And this is going to be ready in production in 2010? Yeah, so we'll be doing trials uh, with partners and customers in 2009. Yeah. And then you'll be able to mail, get it in the beginning of 2010. Towards the higher range of three to eight hundred dollars? No, we'll determine, but I mean, when you look at it, I mean, three hundred right now is for a little six inch diagonal. So obviously you would, would expect this to be priced higher. That's great. And what about future plans for the device? Obviously, color integration, uh, more interactivity. Yes. So what you'll see is you'll see a number of things. You'll see more capabilities in terms of some of the functionality that's provided. Like at first, you'll see just some simple annotations. You'll see more annotations. You'll get a lot more content, those kind of things. And then the tech underlying hardware technology, you're right. You'll start to see, okay, I can get higher resolution black and white. I can get faster response time. I can go to color. I can get a video. So, yeah, those are all on the sort of roadmap. But we want to just get this product out first. But, yes, we're doing, because we have that uh, lab in Cambridge, um, you know, that's associated with Cavendish Labs. Mm -hmm. So, we're doing research also on future technologies to and is there an actual web browser built in? How do you access content other than downloading from your computer? Is there? So that we'll talk more about that when we actually do some of our announcements with partners, etc. But at minimum, you know that you would like to be able to, from your PC, Mac, or Windows, be able to go up to. We're actually going to have a store. Go up to the store and actually purchase content. And the, the content then can be downloaded either wired or wireless. Device. Or we can have a browser, you're right. So we're actually give you different ways to do that. You'll hear more when we actually talk about that later. Excellent. Great.